Okay guys, welcome back to episode 5 of Career Mode. As you know from my last match, I was selected for the squad against Manchester United, but we ended up losing, so I'm guessing that is why the manager has not picked me for today's squad against Chelsea. So we're going to sim that match, hopefully it's a win. Well, it's not the league, so it's not really a big deal anyway. We lost 3-1. Cracking start for episode 5. Cracking start. Okay, we're sixth in the league. I haven't been selected away against Bournemouth. Hey, 4-1 win. Cracking. Complete domination by West Ham. Hopefully the manager picks me in his team again pretty soon, even though I still have not been selected for today's squad. That's annoying. Hey, 3-1 win though. I only met one objective, and that's because I only played one match. You just want me to get an assist and a goal by just playing one match. Well, it's possible, but still. Unfair if you ask me, guys. Unfair if you ask me. Okay, give me the match against Everton at least. But let me play a match. I've not been selected for today's match. There's a surprise. 2-0 win. West Ham. Cracking. Top five. Nine games, 21 points. Not too bad. Seven wins, two losses. I've picked you in today's starting lineup against Sheffield United playing home. Let's do this, boys and girls. Tom Volkner making his second league appearance today. Oh, Cresswell does very well. Oh. Not the greatest shot in the world there by Tyron Volkner. To Corona. Volkner wants it. Volkner's got it. His speed just lets him down though. To Wilshire. To Corona. Back to Wilshire. Oh, bad pass, but. No, it's been played to Volkanar, who plays it through to Wilshire. Come on, Cresswell. Make the challenge. Or don't. Diop. Oh, it's not away. It's not away. Beautiful block. Header, and it's over. Well, it looks like we're going into half time. Nil, nil. Unless Bournemouth can get a goal here, which they can't. Oh, they're not Bournemouth. Sorry, it's Sheffield United. Oh, that's a terrible pass. Absolutely horrendous. And it was not a shot to be proud of by the Sheffield United striker there. Yeah, there's nothing for the manager to really comment on. Tyrone's done literally nothing. He hasn't had the ball. And when he has, nothing special's really happened, so. Let's go more attacking. Let's go ultra attacking. We need to push the team up. Tyrone's back, because he's the tallest man on the pitch to get it away. Doesn't get there. And it is not a goal, but that is the closest chance that's happened in the game so far, bar none. And Fabianski saves. Volkner gets it. I wouldn't say gets it away. He gets it somewhere. And now the counter attack can happen with Declan Rice. Up to Tyron Volkner. Oh, he battles and he shoots. <laughs> He needs that goal to make his impact. Ah, oh, freaking heck. The man just taken off Tyron Volkner at the hour mark. Oh, that's going to be a red card. That's going to be a red card for Jack Wilshire for lunging in. Second yellow. And the red, as predicted. Hello, and it's a goal. Late on in the match. Hallelujah. Woo. Just a through ball. And he blasts it near post. Sergio Aguero-esque right there. We've seen Sergio Aguero do many goals like that. And Halla has scored in the 84th minute. His fifth goal in the Premier League this season. Beautiful finish. Felipe Anderson. Back post! Oh! I feel like if he lunged in, then he could have got there. Not the greatest showing for West Ham, but 1 0, they got the win. Another disappointing outing for Tyron Volkanar. Quite annoying. Manager can't have very good feedback at all. Let's have a look at what he said. Oh, I missed it. I just saw great vision which is one positive. Well, at least there's no negatives. I guess that's a 
positive way to look at things. Still in that top four, which is what we want. We want Champions League football next season. Okay, I've not been selected for today's squad. There's a surprise, because I played absolutely terrible in the last match. Hopefully we pick up the win though. Yay, 4-1 up against Burnley this Saturday. 4-1 win for West Ham. A hat-trick from Felipe Anderson again, and Haller with his hallelujah of a goal. Still staying in that top four of West. No, they're not, they're staying in the top two. They are second in the league now. They've played more games than Liverpool and Man City, so if they both win their game, then they'll go ahead, and Manchester United. If all three of them win, then West Ham will go back down to fifth. But for now, second looks like a very lovely place to be. Oh, Tottenham. The league leaders. And I have not been selected. Let's see what happens. At home, Tottenham have beaten West Ham 2-0. So Tottenham are seven points clear now of West Ham. Which is not looking good for me wanting to finish top. 